We all know that as a population we need to treat the planet we live on with a lot more care. One of the businesses that is trying to do this on a large scale is Airsea. Their approach to environmental restoration goes far beyond merely planting trees. Joining me is Andrew Walker, CEO and co-founder of Airseed. Uh, morning. Morning. Thanks for coming on the program. What does Airseed do? Yeah, so Airseed is um, a company that facilitates a, a step level change in, in the way that we tackle environmental planting. And we do that through technology and science. So we have proprietary systems which are AI and machine learning based that help us really understand the landscape that we're planting in. And then we use these really big drones to plant our biotech, which is a, a seed pod that's infilled with, uh, infused with seeds, nutrients, minerals, and microbial amendments that help plants uh, establish and grow quickly. And then on the back end, uh, we do lots of um, monitoring. So we're measuring the impact, the environmental impact we're having and ensuring that what we're planting is going to be successful. Because at the end of the day, the act of planting is something that happens for us with our technology very, very quickly. Mm. But to restore, restore an ecosystem can take decades. So who are you working with? So you're planting trees, in effect, and for, for, via drone, for who? Yeah, so we work in the environmental market space. Mm -hmm. So we do carbon and biodiversity projects. We're working with mine site rehabilitation companies, uh, helping to rehabilitate the mine sites once they're closed. Um, and that process and the way that we engage with them is not just at the planting phase, it's all at the assessment phase prior to actually planting, making mm -hmm. sure that we do get the best environmental outcomes at the end, doing the planting itself, but then the monitoring piece. So once it's planted, 20 years, 30 years later, we need to make sure that we're maintaining that project because I'm sure, Tim, I'm sure you've planted stuff in your garden and, mm. you know, if it's, if it's, uh, sometimes it can work, sometimes it doesn't. Often if I plant it, it doesn't work. <laughs> the, the, I love the it's, irony here, though, the wonderful irony that, that technology is helping nature. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's a, it's, but it's important, it, it's not just the technology play. Technology mm. gives us the, the insights to be able to uh, ensure that a project can be successful. But the science behind our business is also, behind our seed, is also a key part to ensure that a project does establish. What problem is air seed solving? The, 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 the scalability problem. You know, we, we are in, a, in, a, in an area where uh, climate change is real and we have to be able to start restoring um, the forests and the biodiversity loss that, that we've experienced over the last 30, 40 years. And we can't do that with traditional methods. So um, using technology, to deliver that step change is really, really important. Well, walk me through the process. You've given us a little bit of an insight. Can you take us through the whole process of yeah. how, how it goes? Simplest way to think about it is three steps. First step is what we call assessment uh, and viability. So, again, using lots of different types of remote sensing, interpreting, inter interpreting that data to understand if a project's going to be successful, what should I be planting, where should I be planting it? middle part is the planting part. It's planning and planting optimization. So using the drones, using the biotech to do the planting, but knowing where shall I plant these specific seeds, where they're going to survive the best. And then the last part is what we call um, monitoring, reporting and verification. And this is how you measure environmental impact. So not just, and we see lots of tree planting initiatives, and it's very focused on the planting. We're not about the planting, we're about the growing. So how can you measure the growth of a project, how can you measure the success of a project, and how do you mitigate the threats that you are, you know, you are going to see along the way? Absolutely. Now, we all watch David Attenborough specials, he's fantastic, and he emphasises the importance for us to get busy looking after the planet that we live in. Um, how important is it in, in your eyes that we do it quickly? It, it, it's, it's one of the most important things we can do at the moment. That's the, that was really the, the founding story of the business and why we started. It's, and we classify that as biodiverse restoration. So it's not just about planting a tree. It's all the other things that come with planting trees. They support you know, wildlife, they help purify air, they, they help um, rehabilitate soil. Um, so there's many factors that are really important. Uh, and obviously in, in today's world, um, climate change and carbon is a big talking point and natural regeneration, things that we can do today to restore that, was take, that has been lost is a quick way to help the planet. Finally, one, one of the things that encourages me about society in the future is sometimes talking to my children and the next generation and the ideas that they have. Um, it's not too late. No, it's not too late, but we need to be acting now. Yeah. And um, 
you know, being absorbed, uh, absorbed into this space, uh, it's really uplifting to see the technology, the science, and the people behind them that are really actually taking a step forward and making a difference.